Paul Heyman sharing his concerns about what he just saw with Lesnar and Roman Reigns inside Hell in the Cell. Hey, wait a minute. That, that's CM Punk. CM Punk giving his opinion about this whole thing. What is Punk getting at with Paul Heyman? As the Tribal Chief arrives backstage, ladies and gentlemen, the Bloodline confrontation will take place live tonight on Raw. Let's go. I got a vision I see in my head, unlocking the future and letting it go. Yeah, greatness. Yeah, it feels like greatness. Legendary in the making. Reach out and we take it. Not to emerge, we on the verge and it feels like greatness. Greatness. Welcome everyone live to Monday Night Raw as we're off the heels of Money in the Bank Premium Live event as we head towards SummerSlam where tonight the Bloodline confrontation will take place. Roman Reigns will meet the Usos inside the ring to discuss the future of the Bloodline. Also a little while tonight we're going to hear from Brock Lesnar as the Beast Incarnate who got a big win in the Hell in the Sun after the last episode of Raw will be here tonight. Also, we'll begin the show with Zoe Stark going one-on-one -on -one with the former women's champion in Bailey. And then our main event, Drew McIntyre will defend the Intercontinental title against the show-off in Dolph Ziggler, plus more tonight on Raw. Live in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. As we kick the show off with a women's matchup. Up and coming superstars, here comes Zoe Stark. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Utah, Zoe Stark. Zoe Stark, one of the brightest young superstars, making their way, making a name for themselves here on the Raw brand. We've seen her in action in the past, and no doubt tonight she's going to bring it towards the former women's champion. No doubt in my mind, Zoe Stark plans on getting a big win, a upset victory over Bailey to kick off Monday Night Raw here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Sold out crowd over 14,365 members of the WWE Universe. All jam packed in the arena tonight as here comes Bailey. And representing damage control from San Jose, California, the former WWE Women's Champion and Bailey making her way down the aisle. For the last couple of months, Bailey has been after the Women's Championship, has been trying to become the number one contender, the sole number one contender for the Women's title. And no doubt in my mind, as of late, Bailey's been getting win after win, and maybe she deserves to have that opportunity. Maybe tonight, maybe a win over Zoe Stark could help solidify the fact that Bailey should be the first one in line against Bianca Belair for the women's title. Especially after Bianca Belair retained the women's title against Tiffany Stratton at the Money to Bank Premium Live event, able to use a wrestling move, a victory roll, to get the win. Would that be the strategy for Bailey or Zoe Stark in this match to use a surprise roll up to get the win? Or maybe we might get a decisive win here tonight. Zoe Stark, Bailey, one on one to kick off Monday Night Raw. And around the gate, wicked clothesline to take out Bailey. Does Zoe Stark? Does she try to go for a, a pump kick 
But I think Ben's gonna go for a crossbody, just like Zoe Stark did there. Crossbody there by Zoe, but not enough to keep Bailey down. Able to get an upstart over Bailey in the early going. Does Zoe, but uh, gotta do a lot more than that to keep Bailey down. Just trading blows back and forth momentarily. And now Bailey got her. No, the light suplex. Able to counter. Had something in mind at Zoe, but Bailey turned it around. And now Bailey got her here. Oh, slams her skull right up to the mat. And now Bailey just grinding her face on the canvas. And then a elbow right to the to the back there. And then a oh, penalty kick there by Bailey on to Zoe Stark. Bailey just gave us her best messy impression. Oh, and a suplex to fall. Or a scoopplex, if you will. And now Bailey with an elbow right across the chest, but Zoe kept up. And now Zoe able to go for the crossbody. Bailey got caught lacking, taunted, but then Zoe counted with the crossbody. Bailey thought she had Zoe right where she wanted her. And then Zoe able to turn that around and then connect her with that crossbody. Bailey's gotta not, gotta understand that she cannot overlook the upstart and Zoe Stark who is hungry, who has a lot of fire within her to do whatever she has to do to get the win over Bailey tonight. As the crowd is on their feet here tonight, oh. able to take her down that leg trip. And now Zoe Stark, thinking of a, of a move here, but Bailey able to shift her body, turn it around to a DDT. Oh. Zoe Stark measuring Bailey. Has something in mind here. Sends her off the ropes. Ducks under. As Bailey getting sucked out. Zoe! Zoe's able to play a little bit of mind games there. Able to connect with that Larry, but Bailey elbows to the midsection and a right to for good measure. Bailey now has Zoe right where she wanted. Irish Swift and then oh, missed the elbow and then again trying to go for another elbow, but Zoe a bit of sidestepper twice. And now Bailey got her up on her shoulder. Oh! Launched her throat first under the top rope, hang her up to dry. Then Bailey with a kick at one. And now Bailey got her, measuring Zoe. Shot up the shot. Bailey now with the rose plant. Rose plant on the Zoe Stark. That'll do it. Zoe kicks it too. Wow. Zoe Stark got a lot left in her to continue fighting here in this match. Iris Swip got her in the corner. And now Zoe. Oh, look at this tree of wall position. Haven't seen that in a while. Tree of Wall just driving a boot right to the throat of Bailey, and then a spin kick to the spine of the former champion. And now Zoe Stark with a crossbody, a pescado, if you will, over the top, launching herself on the Bailey. And now it's Zoe Stark launching Bailey to the barricade. Using the outside environment to her advantage here. Count of three by the referee as both women on the outside. Again, what a way to kick off Monday night. We're all here tonight with Zoe Stark taking on Bailey, knowing that the bloodline confrontation is only a, only a couple of minutes away. Oh, not to mention, we're going to hear from Brock Lesnar. Who uh, made a a big return to Raw two weeks ago, then defeated Roman Reigns inside of Hell in the Cell on Raw last week. And now tonight, Bailey and Zoe Stark going in at the ringside. Count of seven. Turning over for a DDT counted. Bailey connects with the DDT. 10 8 by the referee. Bailey realizes they're going to get back in the ring if she does. If we get back in the ring to break the count, does Bailey? Maybe she wants a decisive win, but Zoe Stark. Oh! Ramming her into the barricade. 
Not to mention our main event, let alone McIntyre, Ziggler, for the Intercontinental title as oh, Bailey with a bell to back driver dropping Zoe in the back of her neck and now a clubbing blow right to the upper back. These two are just trading blows. And now Bailey getting back in the ring. Zoe trying to take her down, but it's Bailey back in the ring. Trying to play mind games again. Crossbody! And got her! Nothing Bailey could do there. The second Bailey got back in the ring. Crossbody! Unable to get the win for Zoe, but no doubt that crossbody really helped Zoe out there. And now, oh, spin kick. That spin kick there by Zoe. He's gonna knock Bailey down. And again, another spin kick. And now Zoe is gonna go up top. Look at the fly. Frog splash connects. Frog splash. What the? Wait a minute. That's Dakota Kai's music. Dakota Kai's not scheduled to be here tonight. But I guess they're gonna make her presence known. Zoe Stark ready for it. Dakota. Away in the ring. In the ring with the chair. Dakota Kai. Oh my god. And the referee didn't see it. The referee didn't see Dakota Kai swinging for the fences with that chair. Knocking the lights out of Zoe Stark. But Zoe continues to get up to her feet. But Zoe's dazed. Feeling the effects. Now Bailey recognizes the damage has been done. And I'm going to pick the bones. Rose plants. Rose clap by Bailey. A great matchup. With a terrible ending. Bailey with a win. Wow. Here is your winner, Bailey. Again, not scheduled to be here tonight. But Dakota Kai able to assist Bailey the best way she could. Again, helping solidify that maybe Bailey is next in the line for the women's title. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, Lava Raw, we're, we're going to hear from the Beast Incarnate. Brock Lester returns. We're going to hear what he has to say live next on Raw. And there he is backstage. Lester's coming out here next. Our next premium live event in WWE 2K23 Season 9 is SummerSlam as we'll be live in East Rutherford, New Jersey in the MetLife Stadium as the biggest party of the summer goes big. Don't miss SummerSlam! No doubt SummerSlam is going to be a hell of a, an event to say the least. An event that this man is very known for. Some call him Mr. SummerSlam. Here comes the Beast Incarnate. The man who went to hell and back last episode on Raw. The Beast, the Cowboy himself, Brock Lesnar. For many that, for some that don't know, I'm sure many of the WWE Universe knows about what happened last year's SummerSlam with this man Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar was the Universal Champion. Walked into SummerSlam, took on the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. The match ended in controversy mainly because Lesnar had his hand underneath the bottom rope and the referee didn't see it allowing Cody Rhodes to win his first and only Universal Championship title. Brock Lesnar. Also at SummerSlam back in 2K16 was able to defeat Randy Orton for the world title. There was also 2K17 when he returned at the expense of Goldberg. And who could ever forget 2002 at SummerSlam where Brock Lesnar beat The Rock for the undisputed WWE title. Again, there's a reason why we call this man Mr. SummerSlam. Uh-oh, Brock Lesnar. Out here for some serious business here. Calling out Seth Rollins. Wants a shot at the WWE title. Even sending a message towards Cody Rhodes. 
that he'll get his hands on Rhodes one day. But that's what Brock Lesnar's here. He's here to issue a challenge. He said, if you want the best, I am the best. Fight me at SummerSlam. Brock dares Rollins to avoid his challenge of anything. But yeah, he gives Rollins one week to respond. How will the WWE Champion respond to this? The Beast wants Rollins at SummerSlam. They showed him moments ago. We just saw that Seth Rollins tweeted saying, hey, you want me? You got me. Next episode on Raw, I will respond to Brock Lesnar's comments. It won't be the first time that I slayed the Beast. Wow. We're going to hear from Seth Rollins next week live on Raw as we head towards SummerSlam. It's scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by MVP from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes. It really says a lot that the WWE Champion was watching the show, especially with Brock Lesnar coming out. It didn't take Rollins that long to tweet out that, hey, I'll, I'll address Brock Lesnar next week. You want me? You got me. No doubt about it, SummerSlam might look like a very stacked show. To say the least, might be stacked enough for the size of the MetLife Stadium itself for SummerSlam to withstand it all. If there was a roof on it, no doubt it, it would have been blown off like every SummerSlam has been over the last couple of years. But right now, we shift our gears towards Carmelo Hayes back in action, taking on a megastar. Two fan favorites going out of here tonight, live on Raw. And his opponent from Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 230 pounds, LA Knight. As here comes the megastar, the man who challenged McIntyre for the Intercontinental title last couple of days ago at Money in the Bank and LA Knight sadly came up short but no doubt about it the former Intercontinental Champion the Megastar will have gold around his waist one day but tonight it's all about regroup as LA Knight they're gonna end this the winning streak of Carmelo Hayes ever since Carmelo Hayes came to Monday Night Raw the Raw after WrestleMania Carmelo Hayes has been on a major roll defeated the likes of Apollo Crews and Johnny Gargano and then last a couple of days ago at Money in the Bank defeated former tag team champion and Chad Gable in a clinic to say the least to open the premium live event. Here we go. One on one Carmelo Hayes and LA Knight going out of here. Carmelo Hayes representing the Hurt Business as well as the MVP at ringside in favor of his newest client as he sends as LA Knight sends Carmelo Hayes onto the top row pulling him out the try and then an elbow drop for good measure. You know, able to miss, able to connect with that shot, able to stun LA Knight, connects with the crossbody, shades of story star, uh, Zoe Stark earlier tonight. Uh, Big some awesome good for Mr. LA Knight here. Send him into the corner. Wicked shot to the face. Good creep. But an elbow to the face by Kays. Tried to show the check and couldn't get him. LA Knight's more like an all-around superstar. He can fly with the best of them, but he's also got the strength, the agility, the speed, the charisma, all you want in a WWE Superstar. LA Knight has it all, but so does Carmelo Hayes. Able to look up LA Knight with that cutter, able to plant him face first. Is it enough to extend his winning streak? Unable to do so just yet. And now Carmelo Hayes sends him off the ropes, back elbow, connects. But LA Knight got up to his feet, but Hayes come on the right. And now Carmelo Hayes with a poison Lana onto LA Knight. The back of his neck spiked there by him as Carmelo Hayes with the double knees. He got him with the double knees, but it took a lot out of Carmelo Hayes with that one. And now LA Knight are going to regroup as well. Oof. That shot. 
But Alaganesh sends him into the corner and an uppercut by Mr. L.A. Knight. And now setting him up for possibly the BFT. Oh no, wait. L.A. Knight got him up. What's it? Oh, the burning hammer! Burning hammer of the Hayes! That's how you won the Intercontinental title last year at SummerSlam. Not enough to get the win here tonight. That's how Ellen Knight won the Intercontinental title, I believe. And on the BFT, that's how he beat the Rock at WrestleMania this year. Cover of the BFT. One straight goodbye. No. Unable to, to vanquish the winning streak of Carmelo Hayes, does Ellen Knight. And now LA Knight is going to do what he has to do. Look at the risk it all. Hayes up to his feet. And a drum kick got blocked. Bad move by Hayes. He's trying to taunt. Trying to show off there. LA Knight tried to take him down. But Hayes. And now sending LA Knight across the ringside. Getting back in the ring. Maybe to regroup perhaps. Kind of three by the referees. You saw, you saw Hayes. Hayes trying to maybe try to rush after LA Knight, but LA Knight got back in the ring. And a strike speed delivered. The rights, the latch, and then the kick for good measure. And now Hayes got LA Knight grounded. Ooh. Now MVP bringing the chair in the ring, which I don't know why you would do that, but look at, look at this. Boston Crab applied. Single leg Boston Crab, smart move, especially after driving his knees onto the canvas, but unable to make LA Knight submit or give up or pass out. That kick to the midsection isn't enough for a win, no. Big kick to the back there, up to his feet, but oh, kick to the midsection. And now Hayes, oh no, wait, LA Knight turned it around. LA Knight able to turn him around. And now, oh, driving the knee. Oh, right to the side of the knee there. Or maybe into the thigh, rather. Either way, doing damage does LA Knight all over Carmelo Hayes. And now look at Hayes measuring LA Knight with the head scissors. I think he spiked him head first as well. Off the head scissors. And now, Carmelo Hayes drops the leg drop. Able to drop the leg onto LA Knight's arm. And, oh! Things are not looking good. And a seven. LA Knight with a wicked right, but oh, kick to the midsection. Down to eight. Hayes is going to get back in the ring. LA Knight, a bit dazed. Getting back in the ring by the count of nine. LA Knight got it from behind again. LA Knight is going to finish it. Oh! Got him down. Got him down with the, the burning hammer. And again, Hayes kicks it two. LA Knight sticky. What do I got to do to beat him? Trying to go for BFT, perhaps. Nice counter. Big scoop slam. Drops the leg. Carmelo Hayes, what's he thinking? Going up top after dropping the leg. And then drops the elbow right across the heart of LA Knight. Elbow drop. Carmelo Hayes with a win. Holy cow, what a match. Here is your winner. Back and forth, but just like Money in the Bank, it's the elbow drop that gets the win against LA Knight here in Universal. Carmelo Hayes' winning streak continues here live on Raw. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, now it's time. The Bloodline confrontation takes place live up next on Raw. But let's, gentlemen, let's take it back to how this really kick-started this whole thing here on Raw a couple of weeks ago. It was right after the Usos lost to Randy Orton and Dolph Ziggler to where backstage they met Roman Reigns trying to calm down, trying to weather the storm, if you will. 
letting him know that hey next time we'll get him next time we will be dominant here on raw and honestly at this point roman reigns has had enough he speared the crap out of jay uso and then jay, uh, jimmy uso was dumbfounded by the actions of roman reigns which led for roman to spear jimmy as well all of this plus roman tucker with rikishi on the last episode of raw leads us to tonight Roman Reigns wanted to establish dominance here on the Raw brand like they did on SmackDown before. But ever since getting drafted over to Raw, things has been going left for Roman Reigns and the Bloodline to say the least. With the Usos and Roman on Raw and Solo Sokoa on SmackDown, the only one that's having success around here is Solo. Roman Reigns has not been able to get back into the thick of it ever since getting drafted over to Raw. He beat John Cena, but after that, he lost to the likes of Shinsuke Nakamura to qualify for the Money in the Bank. Then he lost to Roman, to Brock Lesnar, I should say, in the Hell in a Cell match on the last episode of Raw. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of fans of Roman Reigns who are not liking the scenario of the Tribal Chief as of late. Roman has been dominant for the last two to three years. I'll never forget when he got traded over to Raw, beat AJ Styles for the US title, won the Elimination Chamber match to face The Undertaker for the WWE title at WrestleMania in Orlando, Florida. Then from that year all the way to SummerSlam of last year, Roman Reigns was dominant. And it didn't take long until the Usos would follow suit, winning Tag Team Gold as well. At one point, the bloodline was immaculate. They couldn't be touched. But then once the Usos lost the Tag Team titles to Finn Balor and AJ Styles at the Royal Rumble, and then when Roman lost the title, to Seth Rollins via Money in the Bank cash in last year at SummerSlam. It was the beginning of the end of the Bloodline. At times they try to regroup, but now it's time to settle it once and for all. It's Roman Reigns in the ring, waiting for the arrival of the Usos. Demanding that the Usos come out now, says Roman. And asking you shall receive as here comes, wait a minute, that's only one Uso of the Usos, that's Jimmy, I think, yeah, yeah that's Jimmy Uso, what the hell is Jay, supposed to be all three members of the bloodline in the ring tonight, Jimmy Uso, uh, again not wearing bloodline attire, if you will, Roman wants to talk with both. Jimmy Uso says we're done. Had enough of your crap. Oh, what, what the? Oh my God! Jay with a chair in the ring. Oh my God! The Usos didn't come in to talk. They come in to fight. They come here to assault the Tribal Chief. Jay Uso with the chair. With a chair shot to the skull of Reigns. Jey Uso couldn't take no more of the Trouble Chief. Flying at the top with a four. And Jey Uso with a drop kick. Nothing is keeping Reigns down so far. Rikishi wanted Reigns to talk with the Usos. For all we know, that could have been a setup. This could have been a whole setup planted by Rikishi last week on Raw. And Jey Uso takes him down, Jimmy up top! Elbow to the spine! And that's not enough, Jimmy up top again! Roman Reigns is in deep trouble, splash! Splash by Jimmy! Jay up top! The Usos! Assaulting the trouble, Chief! Is the bloodline officially over? At least it seems that way. The bloodline has had enough and they got revenge on Roman Reigns.
Wow! The Usos! Oh my god! And then they've just made the best choice of their life for the worst one. Depending on how this scenario is going to play out over the next couple of weeks. Roman Reigns up to his feet. Pissed off what just happened. I guess the bloodline is officially over. Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. CM Punk just tweeted. So now that that's taken care of, next episode on Raw, I'm calling you out, Roman. Hashtag tribal bitch. CM Punk going to call out the tribal chief when he returns to Raw on the next episode. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take it to a small video package where Bret Hart meets Drew McIntyre earlier this week. Make sure you click the subscribe button and the notification bell where you never miss a video from this channel. Ladies and gentlemen, the next episode of Raw, you don't want to miss CM Punk returning after getting attacked by Roman Reigns at the Money in the Bank Premium Live event. Punk is going to get revenge of his own against the Tribal Chief next week on Raw. Also, after what happened earlier tonight, swinging for the fences to Dakota Kai on the Zoe Stark. So we start to get revenge of her own against Dakota Kai on the next episode of Raw in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. And after what we heard from Brock Lesnar challenging the WWE Champion Seth Rollins, Rollins will appear. He tweeted about it and it's confirmed. Rollins will be here live on Raw to, con to respond to Brock Lesnar's challenge. But coming up next after being given the white classic intercontinental title Drew McIntyre they're going to honor it by defending the title live next in their main event it's Drew McIntyre versus Dolph Ziggler for the intercontinental title next speaking of next there's Dolph Ziggler the challenger making his way out here right now here comes the show off Dolph Ziggler who's been on a massive roll as the players uh, okay, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been told moments ago, Becky Lynch just tweeted, saying that, hey, SummerSlam is around the corner, and I understand that there's, there's a certain champion that is available for a title defense. Next episode, the man returns to the Red Brand. Becky Lynch announcing that she'll be on Raw next week. Does issue a challenge to a certain champion. Could it be Bianca Belair? Can we see Bianca Belair and, Be and Becky Lynch for the women's title at SummerSlam? Only time will tell. That's all on the next episode. But right now, tonight, Dolph Ziggler challenging this man, the Intercontinental Champion, and Drew McIntyre. As he makes his way out here, the Intercontinental Champion. Awarded that title from Bret Hart earlier this week. Bret Hart giving him the classic Intercontinental title, a title that he once held before. A championship with a lot of lineage, a lot of history behind it. McIntyre has been a, a great, a magnificent Intercontinental champion since winning the title at WrestleMania all the way back in Houston, Texas months ago. When he defeated Sheamus, and then defeated Sheamus again at Backlash in San Juan, Puerto Rico, and a last man standing match to walk out as champion. Then defending the title against LA Knight, even defending the championship against the likes of Finn Balor as, as well. The Intercontinental Champion, oh! focused, ready for battle. 
here tonight live in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. As the Intercontinental Championship on the line here tonight with SummerSlam less than four weeks from tonight live in MetLife Stadium. Who will be the Intercontinental Champion heading towards the biggest party of the summer and SummerSlam. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Intercontinental Tunnel on the line. Introducing the challenger from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler. And his opponent from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, he is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, the Scottish Warrior, Drew. A big opportunity for both men here. A opportunity for Drew McIntyre to prove that he is the best Intercontinental Champion to date. Dolph Ziggler looking to prove why he's one of the best of all time by winning the Intercontinental title once again in his career. Here we go, Ziggler, McIntyre, mid event time live on Raw. And right out the gate, McIntyre with a neckbreaker takes out Ziggler. Able to turn Ziggler around, got him grounded, deadlift into a powerbomb, and a pin in predicament as well, but Ziggler kicks at one. Oh, but Ziggler kept up. Ziggler able to keep up there, and out Ziggler. Able to take him out. Ooh. Dolph Ziggler, a Hall of Famer at Kent State University, is oh! no doubt his uh, pure wrestling background will be a factor into him potentially winning the Intercontinental title as Drew McIntyre with that Insiguri head kick moments ago. Former tag team partners going at it here. But no doubt it's a lot of respect between the two, between Ziggler and McIntyre. Oh man, I cannot wait for the next episode of Raw. Ziggler trying to go for an elbow. McIntyre with a sidestep, but that time got him. We got CM Punk returning. Becky Lynch returning. Plus Zoe Stark and Dakota Kai going at it. Plus I'm sure there'll be a lot of great action for you on Raw. Ziggler up top. Drop kick on the champion. Drop kick on the champion. Did Ziggler. But now look at McIntyre. Bell to bell. Connected with the bell to belly suplex. Did the Intercontinental Champion. And now the Scottish Warrior pounding away on the show off here. Who writes after rights. Got wrench. Oh, to a slam. Kind of five as Dolph Ziggler got him. Oh, right into the post. And it's Ziggler with a leg trip. Ziggler knows how to take the big man down. Kind of six. But as you notice, Ziggler getting back in the ring, which is smart. Mainly because he knows that McIntyre is a fighting champion. Now they're going to take the easy way out. But also, as he's trying to go for a famous serve, got caught into a power bar. And then McIntyre with a senton up the apron. Holy cow. And now Ziggler up to his feet. Ziggler trying to fight back. Count of four, but a knee to the midsection. Wicked right, chop after chop. And a low sky high spy buster by McIntyre. Shades of Dino Brown there. And now McIntyre setting him back in the ring. I was going to make a point that Ziggler getting back in the ring was a way for Ziggler to show that, hey, he knows about the rule that he can't win the title via count out or disqualification, does not want to risk it. But McIntyre trying to go for future shock DDT, but McIntyre got countered. 
Ziggler counter with that arm drag out of the future shock DDT. Is it enough? And McIntyre got the shoulder, but one tips up with Ziggler. Back and forth, he both meant counter for counter. And again, low down. And now McIntyre. Taking Claymore. And Ziggler got up the way. Ziggler dumps to Claymore. Ziggler now. Uh oh. Look at him. Give McIntyre a kick of his own. The super kick. Super kick. After turning up the bed to win the Intercontinental title, McIntyre powers out. And now Ziggler I can't believe it. What do I gotta do? Close line. And another. Ziggler trying to rally. Trying to get back in it. Trying to weather the storm of the Intercontinental Champ. And now Ziggler now. Measuring McIntyre. Could it be time for the super kick? No. McIntyre dogs. McIntyre got out the way. Evaded the super kick. And now a suplex. And now, oh my god, with a boot to the skull. McIntyre wants to wear down Ziggler. Wants to keep him down. Maybe setting him up for the Claymore. McIntyre got him. Oh no. Power bomb in the corner. And again, McIntyre thinking Claymore. But Ziggler, oh. Positioned himself in the corner. Which allowed McIntyre with that boot to the face. And now the Intercontinental Champion. Missing the challenger. Not going to like the view. The Claymore. That is it. Claymore Country connects. Oh, oh my God. Dolph Ziggler just kicked out of the Claymore, but a Glasgow kiss. That's got to be it. The Glasgow kiss, and on the final blow, Claymore. McIntyre could connect. Ziggler dodge. Super kick. Super kick on the McIntyre. Ziggler on top. Dolph Ziggler is an Intercontinental Champion! Are you kidding me? And new WWE Intercontinental Champion, Dolph Ziggler! Dolph Ziggler just upset of the century! He just beat McIntyre, wins the Intercontinental title! Oh my god! We're out of time, ladies and gentlemen. What a way to call off the year. And Stone Ziggler is the new Intercontinental Champion.